Phil Spencer on Halo's future, the heart and soul of Halo is with 343. So I did do a quick read through of this whole thing. It didn't really seem to give out too crazy a detail, nothing mind blowing, but more just kind of like, you know, this is coming from the boss, right? And so he's like, I know like the inner workings of 343 directly. He just has like the general vision of what Halo is going to be with Xbox moving forward. I'm sure a lot of things are still up in the air at the moment. So we don't know exactly what's going to be happening bit by bit when it comes to 343. I'm sure 343 is still trying to figure that out right now at the moment. But Phil Spencer does provide a little bit of extra insight with this article. So I wanted to go with that over with you guys. And Phil Spencer has reassured that 343 remains critically important to the success of Halo. Uh, speaking to IGN, Spencer first celebrated Halo's initial launch saying 343 did a really good job delivering a great Halo game, but he followed up by acknowledging they didn't hit our bar for content upcoming in a timely manner, which honestly, I would agree with that statement as well, that I also like the launch of Halo Infinite was pretty good. Like it, yeah, it didn't have all the features that we wanted and everything that we needed for a good Halo game, but for the most part, everything that we you'd need to have in a Halo game was there and the gameplay was good. The campaign was fantastic. Uh, uh, but it just uh, just didn't get the support that it needed. You know, bug fixes, updates, content updates, and things like that just weren't there. What we're doing now is we want to make sure that leadership team is set up with the flexibility to build the plan that they need to go build. Yeah, I would think that'd be the initial idea of whenever you made the Halo Infinite, but yeah, whatever. And Halo will remain critically important to what Xbox is doing, and 343 is critically important to the success of Halo. You say these words, but I don't think you know what they mean, Phil. As in, if you felt like Halo was that important, why would you need to cut reportedly a quarter of the workforce at 343 to make up costs, I guess, in a way? I feel like Halo's always been a backseat when it comes to premiere games on Xbox. Like, yeah, we had Infinite on like the box itself, right? Of the Series X and stuff like that. But did it really feel like we were getting like that true treatment of being like the forefront of the platform? I mean, unless 343 was horribly mismanaged, which, you know, we have seen news articles and basically evidence of that, but is it really as bad as that? Or is 343 just not getting the resources that they need from Microsoft and they're trying to do the best that they can? I don't know. It just seems like Halo's getting pushed back more and more and other games are getting much more of a highlight. I mean, like we, 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 we heard Heard nothing from Halo about the developer direct stuff. Which I'm surprised we didn't have like anything about like season three or something like that. You know, season three is coming around what, like a month and a half? Like that's a pretty significant update if you're trying to make sure that people are excited about Halo and this is the time where everyone's looking at Xbox and you don't have anything about Halo? When we have content on the way? I don't know, that just seems, seems kind of weird. And Phil continues on saying, I have the utmost confidence in the team that's there and leading and the plan that they have going forward. IGN did actually kind of press themselves, so, so what is actually the plan moving forward? And, three, and Phil Spencer said that, he's gonna let 343 kind of explain that in their own time kind of thing, saying some, but this game gives me hope though. This actually does give me a little bit of hope with this little sentence saying, some other things, some rumored, some announced that we'll be working on. So like some things rumored on, I mean like, bro, if that's not like a wink and a nod to, about the battle royale to Tonka mode for Halo Infinite, I don't know what is like what else is rumored about Halo Infinite coming from Phil Spencer like you think Phil Spencer gives like a damn about the flood coming back in Halo I don't think so you think he gives a damn about the battle royale probably a lot Halo will always be part of like the Xbox lore I'm like well yeah it's been for the last 20 years but is that lore going to be expanded on in the future I don't know <laughs> insane uh, I want to make sure the team's set up to succeed with that when it comes to you know being able to grow the Halo IP and succeed on the platform and things like that. I mean, obviously doing cuts is a difficult choice to make, uh, but it just seems like it's like, I don't know, like it just seems like every action that comes with Halo, it seems like they're just trying to get by rather than, you know, thriving or having the proper route resources that they need. Um, from what I've heard that 343 did kind of get leaned down quite a bit with the recent layoffs, which then could also give more uh, power to the people who are currently there to be able to voice their opinions and have things maybe go their way a little bit more. I mean, from what I've seen over the years of 343 working on Halo, that they kind of went from just like a group of like highly paid developers getting the, able to make Halo to now where I'm like, there's genuine Halo fans, like genuine Halo fans that work at 343 that only want the best for this game. And from like developers I've talked with, uh, from, you know, things we've seen online that uh, like through Twitter and stuff like that, the developers like get it. They know what we want. The hardest part is just making it. And it seems like there's like that barrier of like what the developer 
Wars 1, which are like honestly like fans are just end up working on the game for the most part to like what actually happens or gets implemented. But yeah, it's like, hmm. Bill Spencer does continue on talking about the layoffs right here, saying that uh, he takes to heart the impact on individuals and acknowledge that as the person with business responsibilities to create a safe space where people can do their best work, the, fa the very fact of layoffs happening at all meant he hadn't succeeded, which is okay. Then, I mean, that just kind of hurts the read in my opinion, because like not saying that Phil Spencer should go. I think he, overall Xbox has been doing well under his supervision, I guess it's the one okay or lead. Uh, obviously layoffs do happen, cuts do happen. So I'm not like putting that solely on him, but when you're also spending nearly $70 billion to buy more video games for your your platform, but then you can't afford to have these extra employees as in like an extra quarter of development team at 343 making Halo. It just kind of wonders like, well, where are the priorities? Again, like with, you know, if Halo was that important to Xbox, would you need to be buying $70 billion worth of video games? It's interesting to see where the priorities are when it comes to the money movement when it comes within Xbox. I mean, actually Phil Spencer does talk about saying it was like a bit of a learning experience when it comes to the Activision acquisition. Uh, Phil Spencer does talk about like what's gonna be happening in the summer as well as the recent developer directing that which showed up, which we talked about when it was noticeably absent for whatever reason. And uh, talked about like how they actually have everything like planned out for the showcase for June, which is gonna be pretty interesting there. He also talked about the ongoing battle about around Xbox's Activision Blizzard acquisition and which he describes it as a learning experience. Yeah, it turns out when you try making one of the biggest business acquisitions, probably of all time, honestly, like, yeah, you're gonna learn a few things. And uh, all, probably a lot about non-compete stuff and like, you know, potential monopolies or like, uh, what's like one, of, what's the one term about like, I think it's like an oligopoly or something, something like that, what it's called, where like, you don't, you're not like an actual monopoly, right? But you basically own everything where it makes you a monopoly. That's kind of like this, the thing that hit, that Microsoft was hit back in the nineties when it came to like, kind of split up their stocks and things like that. You guys, you guys are probably too young to remember that, but I remember that being a big thing, like in like the late 90s early 2000s i can't remember exactly when that happened it was before like apple was like a really big thing but hey we it is what it is right now and we're at where we are at right now when it comes to halo hopefully we'll see things improve maybe 343 can still pump out as much content that's needed for a live service game with uh you know with 75 percent capacity hopefully 